I'm Christopher Titus, and this is the Armageddon Update. Sedition, conspiracy, treason. We're going to walk down to the Capitol. This week, Elmer Stewart Rhodes, Oath Keeper and self-created pirate wannabe. Oh, yeah. Elmer shot his own eye out. <laughs> Shh. Be very, very quiet. I'm hunting my own eyeball. <laughs> <laughs> I think his eye pet should have to read I'm with stupid or keep your eye on the prize. Anyway, Elmer was convicted of sedition treason and could be doing 20 years. It's a big deal. I mean, not the U.S. beating Iran in the World Cup big deal, but big. Go! Let me ask you something. Are you a patriot? Did you try to save America by trying to overthrow America? Did they arrest you for just exercising your rights of freedom to hang members of Congress you didn't agree with? I am Brock Haythorne McFarrow III, and if you can find a whiter lawyer than me, I will take your case pro bono. McFarrow Law Firm is helping snowflake crackers who commit treason and now identify as patriots get organic lunches in prison after committing acts of terrorism. You're white, and you should only get house arrests, unless you plan a trip to Mexico, and then get your bags and enjoy. McFarrow Law Firm makes no guarantees you won't do 20 years for trying to hang Nancy Pelosi. No habla espanol at all, even a little bit. So if you hit two, it's going to hang up. Elmer was convicted of sedition and is the first conviction of sedition and conspiracy since these Muslims tried to end America by plotting to bomb New York City landmarks 30 years ago. Sheikh Omar Abdel Rahman and nine followers were convicted of seditious conspiracy and a plot to blow up the United Nations, the FBI building and two tunnels and a bridge linking New York and New Jersey. Yeah, they tried to end democracy and screw up New York traffic even worse. <laughs> I'm not sure how they avoided the death penalty. Well, not really. Uh, the Sheik died in federal prison in 2017. <laughs> so there's some hope for this the human thumb model. Elmer Stewart Rose is a clown, a Q-believing conspiracy theorist who actually said, go armed at all times as free men and women and be ready to do sudden battle anywhere any time and with utter recklessness that is the price of freedom yeah really go armed says the guy who took out his own eye hey perfect maybe you shouldn't be giving people gun advice if you shot yourself in the face you see if you're not familiar with firearms these babies can go off now and why is this a big deal well sedition is a hard thing to prove and they did prove it and it was a jury that Elmer's lawyers approved, a collection of 12 Americans randomly chosen. No politics, just evidence. Elmer and his buddy, Kelly Meggs, both violently anti pilates and sit-up deniers, are going to be doing 20 years because they believed Hugo Chavez, who is dead, stole the 2020 election for Biden. Smartmatic has been associated with the Venezuelan government led by Hugo Chavez. They also plan to kill the Speaker of the House. So these guys going down is good for America because there's a new sheriff in town. The new special prosecutor, Jack Smith. We've been taking down war criminals at the world court. That's right. This dude is a badass handling the DOJ's case. This dude is the Darth Vader of goodness. The, the doctor, not even a little bit evil. Harvard educated, dead honest, and he was on the United States triathlon team. Yeah. By the way, a triathlon is a one and a half kilometer swim, a 40 kilometer bike ride, and a 10 kilometer run. Sounds impressive. And I don't even know what a fucking kilometer is. And this dude was on the United States triathlon team on top of being a Harvard educated lawyer. Now, what I know about people is how you live your personal life is how you live your professional life. And this dude, Jack Smith, goes after bad people hard. You want this dude after you? I don't think so. John Wick's smarter triathlete brother? Nope. In 2010, Lanny Brewer, the assistant attorney general of the Justice Department's criminal division, recruited Jack Smith to run the public integrity section. Now, what they do is they investigate politicians and other public figures on corruption. <laughs> and when asked, Mr. Smith told a reporter at that time that he saw his job as one that served the people because the people pay their taxes, they follow the rules, and they expect their public officials to do the same thing. It's reported that Jack Smith then bit the head off a of king cobra before it could kill a baby rabbit. You know, if I was a certain obese ex-president, I'd run, except he can't run. Seriously, even if he wanted to run. 
but Jack can. So see Jack run, see Jack catch a fat man, see that fat man get convicted like his buddies. Maybe we can get Trump a cell with Elmer. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we can dream. I'm Christopher Titus, and this is the Armageddon Update. Ho ho! Well, we got two of the bad fat guys. Why are all the bad guys fat? I don't get it. They're just all huge. They're just round, doughy. What the hell is wrong with them? God, they sure set up.